Bonjour. Ça c'est Raymond Bayou de Rabon Creek. Hey y'all. How are you doing? Um, just got back from a short bike ride. I found some of that wild yam that I just got uh, learnt on. Anyways, um, I got this tincture out. It's a mullein leaf extracted and uh, you know the material of the plant I'm about to separate from the tincture I'm gonna take the material outside into my roughneck fire pit and see if I can burn it just using the vodka and I'm sure I won't get like a pure salt from it but I'm gonna start and give uh, see if I can get it to burn fairly well and then I'm gonna try to um, refine my facilities so I can cook it some more in a cauldron eventually which I do not have a cauldron so I'm gonna use a Pyrex dish anyways um, Wednesday, August 16th, it's about 6.30 my time, Eastern Standard Time. So, I have this little, uh, I set up a box to put my camera on here. Okay, quick tour, show you. I just got, Gloria just recently got me some more mason jars, so I put up this shelf here and I'm trying to get more organized um, shout out to Fido Lack of Americana got me started making tinctures for my health I got this cedar cabinet here that I made a couple years ago it, it's just a small shelf uh, trying to get organized so let's see if we can do this without spilling it and uh, what we have is a pint jar see I use a plastic lid because that um, the alcohol is volatile and it reacts with metal lids so I put this I filled this up with mullein leaf dried to the close to the top and then I poured the vodka and then every day I woke up I gave it a this give it a good shake you know um, then in the evening I did it again just a little bit twice a day so what happens is it pulls the oils out of the matter uh, um, the plants have a mind, a body, and a spirit, and so we have the Mullen consciousness, the genie in a bottle. And now, what we'll do is take the essence, separate it from the body, take that material. And I'll put it in this Pyrex. That's what I got. That's what I'm working with. And uh, this old funnel. I'm not a big fan of plastic, but I'm going to use this plastic because that's what I got right now. Someday maybe I'll have a full-on lab set up for doing this and for burning it and everything. But You'll see when we get outside, I'm talking about a roughneck fire pit. Let's see if this works. I've never tried to uh, use this vodka as a fuel to burn the plant matter. So first of all, I'm going to strain it. 
It's got a nice, nice oily color, nice deep green. So, let it run. See if we can get a shot of that color. You can see it's definitely strong, you know, you could dilute that tincture. I think you could dilute that 5 to 1. Um, I let it go a little bit longer because I normally go 40 days with these. Um, I decided to get closer to the solstice, which is a new moon coming up Tuesday. And, uh, Working with Mullen because it's a Wednesday. I've got Juniper going, and tomorrow is Thursday, which in French, does anybody know what Thursday is in French? Not that uh, this is a French lesson. It's Jupiter, Judy, and um, tomorrow I'm going to strain my. Um, juniper tincture on uh, Jupiter Day, and then um, Sunday we'll maybe we'll do the dandelion flowers. Anyways, I I think there's an alignment according to astrometry, so I'm letting gravity do this.